Weddings are expensive, but your wedding veil doesn't have to be. Here to show you how to DIY your very own veil is Julia Grieve from Pre Love. You know what, I have to tell you, this was probably one of the most fun DIYs I've done in a long time, playing bride and all. Right. But I'm not going to lie, it was a little challenging. It now, I'm was. not going to say difficult, I'm just going to say a little challenging. It's a little more time consuming than I thought originally. Okay. So a tip, if you're going to make your own wedding veil, do not do it the night before the wedding. No. And you know, no. in sake of having a nice long marriage, I suggest you keep your husband far, far away. Far right? away. Far away. In just another room. In another room. Give me the glue. Yeah, right. You don't want to start off that way. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make two different types of wedding veils. Okay. Pretty much two different type um, sort of techniques that okay, can nice. be used in different ways. And each of these will be done for under $20. Oh, that's really good. Right? You want to save money anyhow you can. And, can. and veils are surprisingly expensive. They are. It's, it's shocking because the actual yes. fabric is not. Yeah. But I understand the details that do go into making a veil. So right. whatever. If you want to save some money, have some fun, put some personal touch into your day, making your own wedding veil is a great way to do it. I love it. We're going to we're going to first make this one and it is stunningly gorgeous on it is simple it and is. incredibly elegant and that's the first one it is it's what you. they call the bird cage so it's a nice little Got small it. one it's great for that bride that's not into all the pomp and circumstance yeah. that goes with it so what you're gonna need for this one is you're gonna need it's actually called hat netting so I'm gonna hold okay. it here it's a little you know it's white so it's a bit see-through but it's it's a bit wider you can see the netting that goes through it mm -hmm. so it's a hat netting I got about half a meter of this okay and uh, that's seven dollars a meter so we're down to 350 already okay not breaking the bank you'll need hair comb yeah which I've got here again a dollar I picked up that hair comb for mm -hmm. you'll need a bit of fabric glue ribbon and then my favorite thing the invisible thread and yes. when I say invisible this stuff is so invisible yeah. you really need a friend to help thread the needle I right. was really struggling yeah. that's where the struggle came be from looking real close so what you're gonna first do is you're gonna take the netting and you're gonna cut the corners off so I'm just gonna do that along here quickly because what you're trying to do is create a different little shape to it. I'll show you. Okay. And then you're going to fold it over, and you're going to want to cut you know, it. It might be tough to see, but it it's is. really good that you I brought will... the colored paper underneath I know. So, so that we can see, see it. it. So what you're trying to do yeah. is you're going to cut a shape. Let's see if we can see it now. Yeah, you can see it a little yes. bit there. See how you got there? You sort of got yeah. that, you know, whatever. Whatever it is. Whatever shape that is. Right. So that's the shape you're going to want. Then you're going to take your invisible thread, and you're actually going to thread it through all of the holes. What I did here is just to get, so you can maybe see it a bit better, is I use red thread. Right. So you can sort of see how the red is going through there. So you're th you're putting that all around? Yes. You're not actually sewing. You're just going in and out, in okay. and out, sort all of right. like weaving through it's it. It's going all along the top Everything there. you just cut. And then yeah. what we'll do, Trace, is you pull it. Oh, so, now so you're that's going, why you're making that's it. That's how you get the I gather. I can't remember. Yeah, gather. Right? That's I know. Word. So you just keep pulling that nice and slowly, and you're going to gather it all up. So you're creating that little cage, that that's shield. That's good. Once it's all gathered like that, you're going to yeah. tie it off, and then we're going to attach it to the hair comb. Oh, this is so brilliant. So this comb here, I just got for, as I said, a dollar. Yeah. And we're going to just put some ribbon on it just to sort of, you know, make it a little cuter. Yeah. And then we'll have something to attach the uh, cage onto. Nice. And so you just go through here. This is a great time when you want to maybe use blue ribbon, something blue. Something blue. Something blue. Yes, that's All right. All those great things. So then you can either fabric glue your cage onto it or yeah. you can stitch it. Okay. And then when you're done, this is what it'll look like. In here, I'll just give you a little. So look at this. Isn't this on. So cute? I just think it's the most elegant. Right? Oh, it's so beautiful. Sweet. And then the nice thing about this is you don't even just have to be the bride. This stuff comes in blue. You could buy this in red. You could buy this in any That's color you true. want. It can and be you a can... fascinator for an event. There you go. Yes. Right? So you don't have to just wait till you're bride. You Very can do that nice. earlier. Okay. Okay, let's move on to let's the next move, yeah, one fix now. Fix the hair, fix I the hair. There back. we go, there we go. Okay, so the next one I'm going to show you is just a typical headband tiara uh, veil. Okay. Now the thing is, this can be customized to whatever length of veil that you want. Good. Veils come in many different lengths and have many different names. Yes. There's the shoulder length, the elbow length, the fingertip, the this, the chapel <laughs> compared to the cathedral. Okay. But I promise you, on your wedding day, nobody is running up with the tape measure to see how long your veil is. Right. So you're going to make it work. So you got two meters here of uh, netting or mm -hmm. uh, tool. You're going to, because we're going to create a blusher with this as well. So you're going to fold it in half. Okay. And then all we're going to do is glue this on to the headpiece. Simple, simple, simple. Very simple. For, exactly. First thing you want to do, hot glue too. Yeah. So you're going to glue it on. 
and you're gonna do the end, and then you wanna do the other side as well, so that you have symmetrical, Got it. right? Don't just go to beside it, you wanna do it on the end. Okay. So then we'll put a little hot glue there. And that, that headpiece that you found, you can find that Anywhere. Anywhere. I got okay. this at a fabric store for seven dollars. Oh, okay. Again, Excellent. a wonderful time to maybe use grandma's old headpiece, yes. maybe your mother-in-law, make her happy. <laughs> you know, so there we go. And then you go to the middle next. Yeah. And then all you're gonna keep doing is just gluing it all along the headpiece. So you have that nice draping happening. Exactly. And you just keep pinning it, or yes. sorry, just keep gluing and gluing and gluing. That's a good one. I know. Julia. This is so easy. That's very so easy. So this is it here when you're finished. Yeah. And because of the two layers. Oh God, here comes the fun again. Putting it on, here comes the bride. Oh, look so at there, her. so you've got a headband, wow. right? And we did the blusher, so it can come over. Okay. How cute is that? Oh right, am I not having so much fun? That is beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. And that then, is great. But then this one also, Trace, you can just wear it like this. You can you wear can. it low. You can. Just, that, just, like, just, just behind. Just behind the ears there. Yeah. Put it in so if you don't want that whole pomp and They're fantastic. Set. Your projects are always great. And They're I just so want to fun. mention, Julia actually helped to create her own veil when she got married how many years ago? Oh, my gosh. 18. 18, 18 years ago. This is mine. This is her actual veil, which is so beautiful. It, it's so great. And what's so nice about it is the lace on the, on the headpiece is from my mom's dress. Oh. So the lace is beautiful. actually 55 years old. My mom and dad are having their 55th. Oh, and then the rest of it we made. I was highly inspired by Princess Grace at the time. Yes. You know, if you look at hers, look at that. Isn't that cute? It's stunning. It's a huge high impact. And you had something to do with it, which I, I just know. think makes it even more special. It is. It's very it's special. It's beautiful. 